Joining us now from Seattle is Angela Rasmussen. She is a virologist with Georgetown Center for Global Health Science and Security. Welcome. Great to have you with us. So there is, of course, the mutant COVID strain that is causing concern as it spreads through the United Kingdom. Um, there's the concern that it may already be spreading here in the U.S. What can you tell us about it and what should people here uh, know about it? So what people really should hear about this and think about this is that this virus is actually expected. Um, we know that viruses mutate really every time that they copy their own genomes, every time that they replicate. And unfortunately, this particular virus, because it's infected so many people, has had a lot of opportunities to do that. So it's not particularly surprising that this uh, variant has emerged. We really do need to, to do more work to find out if it actually is significantly more transmissible up to 70 percent. I don't think that we actually have the data to say that yet now. But I do agree with Dr. Gottlieb uh, that this, this virus probably is already here and that we just haven't detected it yet. So the, the take home message is that we should be working to lower our exposure risk as much as possible for this and any other variant of SARS coronavirus, too. So do we know yet whether the COVID vaccines that are available now are as effective against this strain or will we be starting from square one again? So we don't have any evidence right now that the vaccines will not produce antibodies or immune protection against this particular variant. Um, those tests, however, are underway. And I just actually had a call about that this morning. People are looking into that immediately to make sure that we don't need to adjust the vaccines at all to account for this variant. Have scientists been able to isolate this variant strain and study it specifically? So yes, um, they, they certainly have in the UK um, where they've sequenced many uh, copies of it. Um, people are also now beginning to work on it in the lab and scientists are beginning to share uh, with each other, um, both internally within their own countries and across international borders. So that work really is ramping up right now because it is such an urgent question. And at this point, though, just to reiterate, there's no indication that this strain is more deadly other than the fact if you infect more people, the percentage of people that will eventually die from it go up. But it, the strain itself doesn't show an indication of being more, more deadly. Is that correct? That's correct. It doesn't cause any kind of different disease. Um, it actually transmits the exact same way as all the other variants of SARS coronavirus, too, as well. Um, it's not more deadly. It, it just is more transmissible. We don't really know how. Um, so that, that means that basically if you're with a person who has this variant of SARS coronavirus 2, you're more likely to get infected as a result of having been exposed. Um, and it's important to note again that the, the same measures that you would take to prevent transmission, period, masking, distancing, washing hands, avoiding crowds, et cetera, are going to be the same things that you will apply to avoid becoming infected with this variant. And so with cases rising in many places here in the U.S., is that what people need to keep in mind if they're traveling for the holidays? Um, and what can they be doing to keep family members and themselves safe through the holiday season? That's a really important question. And I would implore people not to travel for the holidays and not to get together with people outside your own household. Um, right now, even if this variant isn't here, we still have out of control transmission of SARS coronavirus 2 throughout the entire country. Um, right now, our healthcare system is strained to the breaking point. So the fewer cases, the fewer new cases of COVID-19 that we can have, the better. Um, I'm very, very concerned with what holiday travel will mean in terms of our healthcare system really being strained past the, the breaking point. Um, I think that that is a real, real concern with regardless of this variant or not. Well, Angela Rasmussen, thank you so much. We really appreciate you sharing your medical expertise on this with us. Thank you, Tanya.